Hey guys, it's me Talha. So here is a workflow of modeling an interior scene in Revit and Enscape. If you want to learn more tips and tricks about Enscape, you can check out the Enscape tutorials on my channel. The link is in the description. And if you find this video helpful, consider supporting my work on Patreon and help me create new videos every week. Anyway, let's get started. First, we'll create a room. eight feet three inches on this side and three feet three inches here and eight feet for the wardrobes then close the room like so next i will start working on the floors i will create two types of floor the main floor which will be six inches thick and another one one foot thick to separate the study area And as you can see, there is a warning that uh, the floors are overlapping. This can easily be fixed by adjusting the base offset to one foot, which is the thickness of the floor. Now I will create a new 6 inch floor here. and give it a one foot offset later on we will add an led light under this step and that's how it looks now we can join both of these floors as well let's copy this floor to level 2 to create a roof and i'm just going to hide this floor and let's work on the ceiling First, we should create a duplicate of this ceiling. I'm going to create one and a half inch thick ceiling. Here, I'm going to create two ceilings with different heights to match up with different floor heights. Let's quickly create a new section view here so that we can see the ceiling and adjust the heights. Let's select this one and make it 8 feet 10 inches from the ground. Now again we will use the ceiling to fill this gap. First let's create a new ceiling in the top view. I'm going to make it one and a half inch wide which is the same thickness that we use for the other ceilings. Next we can switch to the section view to check the gap between the ceilings. And then I am going to create a new ceiling type with the same thickness. And there you have it. After creating the ceilings we can now move on to creating curtain walls. Here I am creating a 7 feet curtain wall on this side and I'm just going to give it a 1 foot base offset to align it with this floor here. Here I am adjusting the vertical spacing of the mullions. Let's go ahead and add the door. I will be using a door family from the blocks plugin. Check out the link in the description to learn how to download and install this plugin.
Now I'm going to add the lights to the scene. I will be using a default Revit lighting family. Let's add one. Then I'm going to edit this light family to add a frame around it. Here first I will unlock the light source and drag it out of the geometry. Otherwise it won't work. Now I'm going to create a frame around this light using sweep. Let's quickly assign a material parameter to this sweep and load this family back into our project and I'm going to adjust the size of this light fixture. Let's try 3 inches. Perfect. Now I'm going to create an array to generate multiple instances of these. After we finish adding the lights, we can set up camera view in Enscape. Here I am just adjusting the artificial light brightness and exposure to make sure everything is clear and easy to see. This will help us easily set up camera view in Enscape. Once we are done, we can save this camera view, but first let's rename this preset. Make sure we link the same preset with this view. Now let's start working on the materials. First I will pause Enscape and create new materials for each object in Revit. So we can edit them uh, in the Enscape material editor. For the floors, I will create two types of materials. Even though I will be using the same texture, I need to create two separate materials because I want to rotate one of the textures. Once we finish creating the materials in Revit, we can resume Enscape Live and edit the materials in Enscape Material Editor. I will be using all the materials from the Enscape Material Library for this project.
Here I am going to add an LED light. You can download this LED light family for free from cadneeds.com. Check the link in the description. Let's go ahead and flip this section and add the same light on this side as well. I finished adding the lights and now we can start adding assets to the scene. I will be using assets from the Inkscape asset library and some from the blocks plugin.
so i have added the assets to the scene so i think we are ready to render this scene in inkscape so let's open up the visual settings i will be using an hdri that i downloaded from hdrihaven.com we need to make sure to keep this checked in order to use the lighting from the hdri and i'm just experimenting with the rotation until i achieve the desired results it looks perfect now i will adjust the brightness in the main tab i will add some outlines and increase the exposure in the image tab i will reduce highlights and shadows decrease saturation a bit and increase the color temperature for a cool light effect and let's remove all of these effects except bloom in the atmosphere tab i will remove fog increase sun brightness decrease artificial light brightness slightly and increase ambient brightness and these are the changes i usually make for my interior renderings now i will export the rendering but before that i will just increase the rendering quality to ultra set the resolution to ultra hd and choose jpeg as the file format and i will press ctrl plus one the shortcut key i set to export the renderings and that's how you create an interior scene in revit and inkscape so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please like share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications check out my advanced 3d modeling courses on learnrevitonline.com and if you found this video helpful consider supporting my work on patreon to help me create new videos every week and see you in the next video